Thank you, Mr. Thurman. Ladies and gentlemen, dear colleagues, it's an honor and pleasure to be here. I'm trying, or I shall try, to explain the situation of stalemates in Germany and the perspectives within the next years. Okay, I'll just leap briefly through the agenda and come to the first point. Uh, I think it's important to keep in mind what telemedicine is. It's the application of modern information and communication technologies in healthcare to provide concrete medical services across distances. Personally, I prefer to speak of specific telemedical applications rather than of telemedicine. Telemedicine is a very broad spectrum ranging from prevention over diagnostics, treatment, to aftercare, telemonitoring, and other things. Um, I think one fundamental aspect of telemedicine, it's an organizational instrument. I will add, in my view, it's a revolutionary uh, organizational instrument. Why? At present, Two paradigms form the basis of the organization of healthcare, not only in Germany at present. The medical expertise is bound to the person of the medical doc doctor, and that should stay like this. And the medical expertise is bound and thus limited to the location of the medical doctor. Either the patient is coming to see the medical doctor in order to get services, or that's rather the exception, the medical doctor is coming to the patient. And as I mentioned already, uh, the uh, telemedicine is overcoming this. In the future, major parts of medical expertise are available across distances, regardless of the location of the medical doctor and across frontiers. So in this view, telemedicine is also a contribution to internationalization of healthcare. Telemedicine is an organizational instrument capable of revolutionizing the organization of present healthcare systems. If anybody of you imagine a couple of years or several years ago that Google and Apple will become major providers of healthcare, I think nobody did, at least I didn't uh, think of this. Some Remarks to the basis, legal basis in Germany, uh, in constitutional law, we have the right, everybody in Germany, of equality or uh, homogeneity of living conditions across Germany. That applies also to, to healthcare, regardless where I am living, I have the right to get the same quality of healthcare provisions in Bavaria, in Berlin, in Brandenburg, or wherever I live. Professional law, interdiction of remote treatment, but not absolutely, it's an interdiction to treat a patient exclusively at distance, meaning that telemedicine is allowed, but it is forbidden if a medical doctor is treating patients exclusively at distance. Data security and data protection, is a major issue, liability, and legislation on medical products and medical devices. I was using the wrong points. The technological basis on which we are working at present is availability of broadband network all over Germany, interoperability, standards, and compatibility of terminal devices. Financial basis, remuneration of uh, uh, telemedical services. In the ambulance sector, uh, there's no remuneration. If not at the national level, the union of medical doctors with the uh, national 
organization of the mandatory health insurance agree on the definition of a service and its remuneration. At present, there is no uh, telemedical service in the ambulance sector which has an ABM cipher, as we call it. So no medical service is, uh, is remunerated regularly. There's many projects, I will come back to this, but regularly there's no service in the ambulance sector which is remunerated. In the hospital sector, it's different. The mandatory health insurance organizations uh, negotiate individually with each hospital a budget, and within the budget, a hospital can finance whatever it wants. So if a hospital is interested, let's say, for example, in teleradiology, they can take their money, invest in teleradiology, and install a teleradiology network with other hospitals. Challenges? I just want to mention one challenge, the demographic de de development in Germany. The percentage of elderly people will increase by approximately 30% within the next 10, 15 years, while at the same time, the working population will decrease by approximately 20%. Uh, we will see not only an increase of elderly multimorbid patients, but also an increase in chronic diseases. And since the working po population is decreasing, we will have less physicians and other clinical staff. Medical offices will concentrate in urban regions, leading to deficits in rural, especially economically weak region, region, uh, regions. For example, around, around Berlin, in Brandenburg, very often you have to travel 50, 60 kilometers to find a specialist if you need a specialist, or sometimes even more. Yeah. Hopefully by the end I will learn which button to push. Um, consequences, as I mentioned, decrease of population in rural areas, especially in economically weak regions, low density of populations of physicians, and limited access to specialized ex expertise because it doesn't make sense for a population of, let's say, 100 people to have a cardiologist or in a hospital with 100 beds and two or three stroke patients per year to have a stroke unit. Telemedicine makes major parts of medical expertise across, available across distances, uh, thus contributing to healthcare services close to the patient. Telemedicine makes specific, uh, specific medical competence available also in less densely populated remote areas, thus improving the quality of healthcare in these regions. It avoids long ways for patients, is making more efficient use of staff, thus contributing to more efficient and less expensive healthcare services. And last not least, uh, telemedicine is making staff economies uh, and could be part of a strategy to compensate the foreseeable shortage of medi medical staff. So con telemedicine allows a different and innovative organization of our healthcare services in Germany. But you have to bear in mind it might have impact on the relation between medical doctor and patient. It's a changing this relation. It is also changing the relation between medical colleagues. Where are we in Germany? No nationwide telemedic, uh, uh, telemedic infrastructure, but in combination with the rollout of the electronic patient card, which is taking place now, we will have a, a nationwide a national telematic, medical, a telematic infrastructure. Up till now, evidence-based studies are required for telemedical uh, uh, applications. This doesn't make sense if uh, um, well, traditional 
medical uh, method is offered uh, via uh, modern information and communication technology. There is no evidence-based study necessary because the method has been evaluated and it's only provided in a different way and it doesn't change the method. These uh, requirement, evidence-based studies, takes a lot of time and is very costly. And since it's supposed to be paid by the providers of telemedical applications, it is very difficult for small and middle-sized companies who are very active in this area to finance such studies. Terminal devices of different manufacturers are often not compatible. We have approximately 250 different projects in Germany in more than 100 locations in different specialties. Only one telemedicine application up till now is remunerated as a regular service, is defined. If you continue this way in 2015, we'll have three uh, telemedical applications in Germany remunerated. Um, as I mentioned already, because of different financing structures, uh, we have an increasing number of applications in the hospital sector, but a low penetration in the ambulant and intersectoral sectors. Why is this so? I think the major problem is not legal issues, it's not data protection, although it's widely discussed and it's a low acceptance and innovation skepticism among the medical profession, especially in the ambulance sector. Telemedicine needs uh, means cooperation, means more transparency. The colleague might take note of what I'm doing and probably be critical about it. It's lack of remuneration. Uh, and as I mentioned already, the changes of the relation of medical doctor and patient uh, result also in a sort of uneasiness in the medical profession uh, to, to, to face telemedicine. Um, proof of evidence I've mentioned already, unclear, insufficient, completed financial provision I've mentioned already, unclear contradictory interests interest of important players high quality standards, a lack of or too low remuneration. But I'm rather optimistic because long-term trends force or work in favor of telemedicine. Uh, modern devices are easier to manage, have a better performance, and uh, this is also true for healthcare. The younger generation is increasingly IT uh, affine. That is also true for medical doctors. And uh, the medical profession is opening up and incre uh, uh, getting occupied or taking care and uh, discussing telemedicine. Uh, so uh, it's, they are more open-minded. Um, an important point is the feminization of medical, the medical profession at the Y generation. Women tend to prefer teamwork and family-friendly structures, and telemedicine is an instrument to combine e more easily uh, work and, and family. Uh, uh, the demographic developments are pushing for telemedicine, and uh, the ambassador mentioned already the e-health law, which is going to be passed during the next weeks. Government and parliament in Germany are pushing for better telemedicine. So, concluding, telemedicine is an instrument to face the challenges of our healthcare system in Germany. Long-term trends, which I described already, uh, will overcome the far uh, uh, widespread skepticism and is, in working, uh, is working in favor of telemedicine, but it doesn't come from itself. We have to fight for it. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you.
Thank you, Hansel. Before we turn now over to uh, Selina, I want to especially ask in Toronto, because this is very much about the German healthcare system and its implications, if there are direct questions to the presentation. So I'll give back to you, Alex. Okay, no questions from that side. Um, <clears throat> I think I would wait with my questions when we are all together on the podium, if you don't mind. 